Here we go, guys. We're making the divine gem. In three, two, one. Please do something. Please do something. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, my goodness. What's going on inside that, guys? Oh, I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. Please, please, fingers crossed, guys. This is it. This is the, for the whole series rest of this, guys. Will we be happy? It depends on this. Wait. That's it. That's it. That's the divine gem right there. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Anyway, stream back here with another episode of our scary survival series. And today is a big day because not only do we have a test Steve back, but we now have all the items necessary to make the divine gem. We've got the calm, we've got the fury, we've got the light, and we've got the darkness. And once we put them together in the divine forge, we're going to have Hades' only weakness, which will allow us to finally put an end to his reign of terror. Guys, I am actually so excited because you know what? Today, I'm believing that things are not going to go wrong. But you know what? We also need you guys to believe as well. So leave a like down below. We're going for 10,000 likes. And of course, guys, as always, if you are on the channel, make sure to slap subscribe and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding to never miss an episode of the series. Because trust me, I reckon this series is nearing its end. I reckon Hades... Haha, <laughs> no longer Hades. Okay, that was not a very good comeback I could come up with. You know, guys, I work. I'm gonna work on my victory speech, guys. If you have no idea what's going on, what the divines are, who this guy next to me is, why I'm so excited, you can watch the previous episode of the series by hitting the little iron top left or right hand corner. But right now, we have an issue test, Steve. Um, we need to get to the divine forge in order to, you know, put these items together. Issue is, is, uh, do you know the way out? Fantastic. Well, I'm assuming we could go in the way we came, uh, but it's probably not going to work, is it? Yep, yep, yep. All right. So we've got a small issue. Um, huh. None of those ways go out. We know that for a fact. Do you reckon we can somehow get up there? Test Steve? I don't know. I mean, that's got to be the real world, right? We can see the moon. Wait a minute. This is a living fountain. Um, fountain. Do you think she can still understand me? I don't know, guys. Last episode, we found out that this fountain can understand everything we're talking about. It's a living fountain. Um, Miss Fountain, if you wouldn't mind, could you get us out of here? Um, mm, I doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe, maybe if we jump in the water, Miss Fountain? Oh, wait, guys, look, we have levitation. Oh my goodness, guys, look. We're floating up. All right, test Steve, test Steve. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're going out, we're going out, we're going out, we're going out. Wait, what? Wait. Uh, we were going out. Wait, are we suddenly back in? Wait. I, I, my brain, no function. What? What's going on? Uh, guys? My brain is doing the saw. We're back. We're back in the mine. I'm really confused about what just happened, guys, because we were floating out the sky and then suddenly we were back in the mine. Oh my goodness, that really is a magical fountain. But good, we're out. Now it's time to head to the corrupt dimension. Let's go. And here we are back in the corrupt dimension. Not that I really want to be back here at all, but if we have any chance of making the divine gem and taking out corrupt Steve and Hades, well, we kind of need to come to them. Because let me tell you, they're not going to put themselves right in our line of fire. But first off, we're going to need something that we actually collected a while back down from, uh, you know, like the secret rooms, Testy, that we found where you were raised underneath, underneath the library, I think it was. Do you remember that there was a god gem in there? Fantastic. Now, from memory, we need the god gem to make this divine gem. I don't remember exactly how. It was in one of the books we read, but I just figured we should have it just in case anyway. So we grabbed our god gem. Now that we've got that, it's time to head down to the ancient forge, guys. All right, back down here. Now, I'm kind of worried to see what we expect, because last time we were down in this area, well, the entire library was the Inferno Flamo, bloom, bloom, not doing so well. All right, here comes the creepy lightning and rain. Yep, yep, that's still here. That hasn't disappeared. Uh, do I have any food on me? Yeah, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little munchies, and I'm going to eat now before we head down. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's jump down and down we go. All right, pull out the divine come. Slow falling. There we go. No damage. Ha, <laughs> these divines are absolutely awesome. Test Steve, are you coming? Test Steve, you coming? Oh, that did not sound good. Are you okay, Test Steve? You don't have the divine come. I forgot. All right, down we come. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Wait a minute. Is this corruption? Hold up. This entire area is corrupted. Dude, what? Hold up. Look at this. This is where the library was. It's been totally caved in and corrupted. It's like Corrupt Steve has sealed it with his corruption, guys. Oh my goodness, look at this. This entire area is just being absolutely destroyed. Wait, guys, you can see in there. That's where Corrupt Steve killed the spirit guardian. This place has been absolutely corrupted. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. But wait, and the door. Guys, it's closed. We need to get in there if we're going to make the divine gem. Hold up, let's go. We can't get through. It's broke. It's, it's like sealed. It's complete. We can't get in. This is not good. This is actually really, really bad. Hold up. Let me pull out the divine darkness so I can see what's going on here. Look at this, guys. This entire area totally corrupted. Destroyed. Corrupt Steve must have known that to make the divine gem, we needed to get into the forge. But it's been locked up. It's been sealed. Maybe, maybe there's some sort of manual override. How did we open this last time, guys? Was this... I'm pretty sure it just opened for us, but it's not doing that this time. Surely the spirits implemented some sort of manual override, guys. Maybe... Actually, maybe behind all of these trap doors, guys. Do you see anything? Just seems to be nothing. Maybe some sort of lever? Was there something in here? No, this is... There was nothing down there. Maybe in here, guys. There's got to be something. Surely. There's no way the spirits didn't make some sort of manual lever to open this up, guys. Wait. Hold up. There's a door. There's a hidden door, Testy, here all along. Look at this. A hidden door just hidden behind there, guys. And we would have never seen it without the Divine Darkness because, you know, it's way too dark in here, guys. But using the Divine Darkness, look at this. We can get in. Maybe if we pull this lever, that'll open the door, guys. Bang. Wait, did that open the door? Let's check. No, not at all. Did that even do anything? Surely, did that do anything at all? What is it, Test Steve? Wait a minute. This was not here before, Test Steve, was it? Am I going crazy? I am 90% sure this was like some sort of cell. Wasn't there like a bed in here? Yeah, the iron bars here. We couldn't get in here before, right? It was like locked up, I think. I don't know. It's been so long since we've been here, guys, but I do not remember there being a passage here. Do you think this might... This could be like another entrance into the forge. All right, Test Steve, we're going to have to check it out. What is this? Wait. What? This is supposed to be some ancient, you know, spirit place. That doesn't look ancient. That looks like almost crazy futuristic. What if we pull this lever? What in the world? Ah, uh, what? This was here the entire time? But this is supposed to be an ancient spirit forge place catacomb thing, guys. This does not look... Oh my goodness. Test Steve, do you have any idea what this place is? This is crazy. Oh my, look down there, guys. Just lava. What is this, guys? This is like straight out of the future. It's so strange, guys. Look at this. What is all this? What's going on? I am so confused. What, Test Steve? The door's closed behind us. I don't like that. Wait, can we still get out? Uh, okay, okay, we can still get out. No need to panic. What in the world? What, what the? What's going on over there? What's in here, guys? Some sort of futuristic lab thing? This reminds me so much of the scientist labs, guys, but the scientists didn't know about this place, so... What is this place? Hold up, is this storage pod? Spare alarm system, anti-fire, spare fuse, structural repair, essence, log four by supervisor. What's this about, guys? Hold up. We need to have a look at this. Log four. Test log four. Error code 74. Subject failed to transform to spirit state? I don't understand. Molecular structure fried matter gem dissolve. I don't understand what that means at all. This is so weird. All right, we need to look around a bit more, Test Steve. Maybe this could give us some clue on how we might be able to get into the matter forge or maybe something else entirely. Hold up. Wait a minute. What's this? This room's been corrupted, but wait a minute. 
The rest of this, oh my goodness, this place is huge. The rest of this like lab thing hasn't been corrupted. Why is it only in here that's been corrupted? I don't understand. If there's corruption here, then that means either corrupt Steve or Hades had to be here. Right, guys? I think? And there's another one of these shocker boxes, storage pod. And again, guys, wait, another book. Log 9. Let's have a look at this. Log 9. So that comes after the last one we found. Error code 91. Subject sp successfully entered spirit phase. Subject dropped out of consciousness. Contact lost. Matter gem dissolve. I, I still don't understand what's going on, guys. What is this subject successfully entered spirit phase about? I don't get it. We need to keep looking around. What is this place? Why is this here? And why is this next to the Matter Forge and the Spirit Catacombs, guys? What's this? Another chest? Well, chocolate box storage pod here, guys. Log 16. Another log? Success! Okay, this didn't have an error code. Subject reached spirit state permanently. Error. That? Subject lost. Cannot locate subject. Subject reached spirit state. So last log. They entered the spirit phase, but then they dropped out of consciousness. This one, they entered it, but then the subject was lost. Cannot locate subject. I still don't get what's going on, guys. What's all of this? Zombie villager? This reminds me a lot of, like, the test subjects, guys. What is? What happens if I click this button? Uh, oh, whoa, what's going on? Villager. And zombie. Huh. What in the world? What is it, Testy? What are you looking at? Some sort of weird potion water thing? Strange. What is all of this? I'm just baffled. Where? Why is this under here, guys? In this, in the ancient, supposedly ancient, but this does not look ancient at all. Look at this. Like they were growing plants down here. What happens if I click this button? Oh my goodness. And it just brings them back to life. What is this, guys? And look again. Testy. That weird stuff that was up there. It like, maybe it brings back life. Is it somehow connected to this substance? I, I don't understand, but more baffling still is why this is in an ancient catacombs. What's in here? Another storage pod? Log of 27. Life shards? Logging paper? What's this? Log 27, once again, by the supervisor. What does this say? Test log 27. Success. Subject reached spirit state permanently. Subject located. Subject reformulated. Error 91. Subject in coma. So this these seem to be like some sort of like ma machine generated... Like, uh, like, code or something? You can see here, guys, last time, the subject was lost when it entered spirit state, whatever that is. But this time, subject reached spirit state permanently. The subject was located, reformulated. So I'm assuming that means bringing them back into normal state. Then there was this era where they went into coma. Spirit state, guys. I still don't get it. What does this have to do with the spirits? Clearly there's some connection between the spirits, guys, and whatever this is, surely. I mean, it's talking about spirit states. What's this, some sort of like power thing? That seems to be heading up to that room up there, guys. Wait, there was another storage pod here. Log 30, another log, guys, hold up. Success, subject reached spirit state permanently. Subject located, subject reformulated, subject vitals normal, complete, no errors. So this was a success, guys, they seem it's like this machine, guys, like, transforms things into spirits? Wait a minute, but I always thought the spirits were part of the village, but this machine seems to suggest otherwise. Some sort of... but... how? I, I still don't fully get it, guys. We need to keep looking. Surely there's got to be more logs around here, guys. Look at this. This machine... did this machine turn people into spirits? I don't get it, but the village was not this advanced. They didn't have advanced tech like this, guys. What's this room? Wait a minute. Adam Yulsoff? Adam Yulsoff? What is this place, guys? Some sort of, like, office room here? And look, there's like a computer thingy. Whatever this is. Wait, another book. Hold up. Is this page three of three? Discovery journal. Entry. Adam Yulsoff. Date. UI slash OP. That's not a real date. I don't... I don't understand. I'm writing to the council of whom it may concern to confirm Project Spirit is a success. Writing to the council, confirm Project Spirit is a success. This must be Project Spirit. Now, hundreds of UIs after. What are UIs? Are they like years? I mean, we saw it up here in the date, guys. Is this some sort of, this, whoever made this machine, do they have a different kind of way of making dates? 
It's like they were a completely different civilization, guys. Now, hundreds of UIs after our discovery of the Matter Gem. So they discovered the Matter Gem as well. And many advancements in our technology. We have broken the physical laws of nature. What? No longer shall we be bound to this world as humans. So they were humans. Using apparatus XM, we may now transform into spirits at will. What? Okay, so here's a limb, guys. I've got this theory. This was some sort of advanced civilization, presumably that came before the village people, guys. And I would assume these were the first people to actually discover the Matter Gem before Eugene, guys. And that they became so technologically advanced that they created this machine that seems to be able to transform people into spirit state? What else? If we are to advance further as a species, I would advise the council to transform every member of our society to a spirit. Need not worry, as we will still be able to return as humans if necessary. You'll soft. But so did they transform their entire species into spirits, but they should still be able to transform back into humans. So how come spirit Steve was stuck as a spirit? And how come we only really saw spirit Steve and the elder guardian spirit? Why were there not more spirits if this was an entire civilization? I don't understand. Wait. What are these? I don't know. Can we get down there? This seems to be green. What if we stand? Oh, that's going to take us down. All right, cool. All right. What is this machine, guys? This this machine must be whatever it is that turns, like, things into spirits in some sort of vault door. Maybe that's where people go to be turned into spirits. I, I don't really know, guys. I'm kind of guessing here, but this machine was created by an advanced civilization to turn themselves into spirits because they'd advanced so far with the Matter Gem before the village, before everything, guys. And so the spirit race isn't actually, they weren't always spirits, they were humans. Wait, there's another one of those storage pods, guys. Storage pod. M-log. What the? What's this? This doesn't look like any of the other ones, guys. M-log? Machine log. So this, wait, the other ones were test logs. This is a machine log. So I'm assuming that's after the machine is now working. It's no longer in test phase. Number 701, 232. That is a big number. Final subject to spirit. This must be the final human they gave the powers to be able to switch between spirit and human form. Phaser loading, phaser activated. Okay, so this seems to be some sort of machine produced uh, code. I don't know. Waiting for supervisor confirmation. Wait a minute. These previous logs were written by supervisor. So this is produced by a machine. The other ones were produced by a supervisor. Confirmed. Error. Glitch. Unknown interference. Power failure. Loading backup generator. Lab failure. Subject lost. Manual override? Do you wish to lock down spirits permanently? What does that mean? Awaiting confirmation. Error. You do not have a high enough security clearance. Input. New user? Hades? Promoted to supervisor. Manual override. Lockdown on spirits confirmed. Three, two, one. Machine shutdown. Okay. I don't 100% get what's going on here, guys, but I have an idea. This seems to be some sort of machine log here. And basically, there's some sort of unknown interference, which I'm going to take a guess and say this is Hades. Hades then tried to manually override the machine, and he's locking down the spirits. That's why this spirit Steve and the Elder Guardian couldn't turn back to humans, guys. They were locked in the spirit dimension, and presumably the spirits being locked there for so many, so long, they died off. Awaiting confirmation. Error. So Hades tried to turn to lock down the spirit dimension and says you do not have high enough security clearance, but then he seems to override it somehow using input you user. Hades promoted to supervisor? And so he promoted himself. Was he but Hades is pure corruption. Maybe he corrupted the system like a, a virus of some sort, guys. Manual override. So then he overrid it. Lockdown on spirits confirmed. And he successfully did it. Three, two, one. Machine shutdown. This civilization, guys, this advanced civilization was locked away by Hades. Why would he do that? I don't understand his motives here, guys. But he definitely, Hades and this advanced civilization. So Hades has been around as long as this advanced civilization. So how come he's only so powerful now? Why did we not hear about this sooner, Test Steve? Look, guys, I don't fully understand what's going on. All I know is that the spirits were once an advanced civilization locked away by Hades. But why? It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it gives us a lot more insight, guys, into where the spirits came from and also where Hades seemingly came from. I just don't get it. But wait a minute. What were we here for again? Oh, right. The Divine. But nothing here seemed to 
even allude to the Divine Gem. It's almost as if they hadn't invented it yet, or like hadn't discovered it yet. Perhaps the Divine Gem was actually an invention while they were in their spirit phase, Testeve? I don't know. Do you think if we hit any of these things, that doesn't seem to do anything. I want it. Ma oh, maybe if we light all of these lights up, that will open up the matter forge. I don't know. There was no real things that seemed to be connected to the matter forge or divine gem in any way here. I don't really understand what's going on here, guys. Maybe something down there. There does appear to be something down there, but there's no way for us to get down there. I don't know. Maybe we should check. Let's just check back at the forge and see whether the doors open, Testive, and see whether we can find anything else. This is incredible, but there doesn't seem to be any way to actually open up the divine forge. Or I keep calling it different things, guys, but you know what I'm talking about. It still seems to be closed here, Testive. There still seems to be no way for us to get in. Maybe there was a secret entrance there. Perhaps there might be another secret entrance to another lab or room that might open up. Um, something that we should be able to use to open up, uh, the, the forge? Maybe? I, I really don't know here, guys. Let's keep looking. See whether we can find anything. I'm really, I'm lost for words. I'm still getting my head around the fact that the spirits were actually once humans. Just incredibly advanced humans. Wait, Testy, did you find something? Down here. Huh. What's this? Could this be another lab created by the, the, the humans that came before? Remote override. What does this do? Did that do anything? Maybe that- Maybe that was the override for the door! Surely, please? Maybe? Wait, I think it is. I think I see light. <gasps> Guys, it opened up! It's open and- Oh my goodness, this entire area has been corrupted. Corrupt Steve beat us here. This is not good. Oh my goodness. But, wait a minute, we have a problem. The forge, it's- It's like disabled. It's- The, the lava, it's gone! How are we supposed to make the Divine Gem if the whole thing is, like, no longer running? It's been completely disabled, guys. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What could we do? Alright, guys. So, I really honestly had no idea what to do. There's no instructions. I went back to the lab, checked there, nothing, guys. So, what I did is I brought up the previous video where we made the original God gem guys and what i found out is that to power all of this on guys we actually went ahead and placed a match gem in that top furnace up there but here's the thing when we did that these were already powered on so i don't think the matter gems power alone is going to be able to restart this whole system but we do have a god gem and the god gem is supposed to be significantly more powerful than the matter gem so here's my idea guys we chuck the god gem in there and hopefully that should be able to restore enough power to this forge for everything to start working again. I know it's not the best option, but I literally can't think of anything else right now, guys. All right, three, two, one, whoop! Oh, that did something. Okay, oh my goodness, there's lightning going on. Wait, there's particles. Did that do something? Bang! It what? Guys, check it out. Wait, did the other side light up here and look? Guys, the lava is flowing back down. Aha, uh -huh, let's go. All right, big brain time, guys. I've done it once again. The, okay, the god gem, it worked. That clearly restored enough power to the machine to get it running again. Now we need to make the divine gem. Again, another issue. We have no instructions for it, except we know that we need to combine all of the divines that we have, guys. Now, once again, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've pretty much already said that, guys. So if I'd mess this up, please don't berate me in the comments, but... I'm going to have to go out on a limb here and say that we're going to place them. Because look at this. There's one, two, three, four sections of this forge. That's exactly matches four divines. It's as if, as if this forge was literally designed to create the divine gem. In theory. Now, we found them in a very specific order, guys. Do you think that order lines up with how we're supposed to place them in, Testive? I mean, it makes sense. Only one way to find out, guys. Let's hope this is the right decision. And... Huh. This may have been the wrong decision. <laughs> we just put one of the divines into the lava. There's no getting that back, guys. All right, let's hope I'm doing this right. Divine Fury. Ah, oh, this hurts my soul, guys. Think about all the things we've been through to get this to work. In it goes. Please tell me this is gonna do something, guys. I really don't know. Please. Wait, that changed. Hold up, that changed to a beacon. Test if you saw that right. That wasn't a beacon before. Okay. Clearly putting those divines in those three forges up there is doing something. Because that changed to a beacon. Now all we have is divine light. And let's hope this does something, guys. Alright. 
Here we go, guys. We're making the divine gem. In three, two, one. Please do something. Please do something. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, my goodness. What's going on inside that guy? Oh, I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. I think it's working. Please, please, fingers crossed, guys. This is it. This is the, for the whole series west of this guy. Will we think at it? It depends on this. Wait. That's it. That's it. That's the divine gem right there. Can we pick it up? We've got it. The divine gem. We have it, Testy. And look at all the effects it gives us, guys. Strength, resistance, night vision, slow falling. It's like a mixture of all the other divines. We got it, Testy. We got it. We got the divine gem. We have it in our hands. It's right here. The divine gem. It's ours. Oh my goodness. We've got it. We've got the weakness of Hades. You know what that means? Corrupt David Hades, we're coming for you!